All right, I'm gonna shovel up the acid while yeah, you I'm take care of other things. Just oh, stand you behind just you. Up pick these up. That's fantastic. Oh, can you? Nice. Oh, incoming eggs. Just swords for now. All right, I'm gonna need to draw back in a second and just like heal a bit, I think. Yeah, that's right. I did the same. All right. Yep, just wanted to oh, make sure. Oh lord, more, more eggs over there. Okay, stand together okay. again. Yep. And creep forward. It's fine. There's a lot of them coming, but. Should be able to tank. This is like the punching machine when you're a kid. Yeah. Right. Draw back a little bit, I would, for now. L l um, lure them over the traps where we can. We've kind of moved away from the hive one. Uh, yeah, we have. This is probably an, an alternate way in. There's probably several ways in towards the hide mother. It makes sense for that to be the case. Yeah. yeah. This is one this good thing about good. playing multiplayer is one can like um, sort of help yeah. the other, like one can guard while the other digs. Yep, oh, exactly. Which is a very nice Okay, thing. there's one more active egg about to hatch. And almost everything is gone. There we go. Beautifully New done. That was a really hard room. That was a bit of a rough one, wasn't it? But yeah, as you say, beautifully done. Oh, there's one more down Oops. here. Okay. Oh, I'm hurt. I'm going to pop some potions. There we go. I'm going to pop a potion as well. Right. I don't need more food right now. Uh, okay. Well, that's certainly an interesting path that will fill back up with uh, markers at some point. But there is there is fishing spots in this lava lake. Yeah. I find that hilarious and very intriguing. I wonder what things we will find in said lava lake. If you can get in there and you can take that egg out before it hatches. Much goodness. Oh, watch out. Woo. Yeah, the, the, the red ones are chunky. Are you okay? Yeah. As long as I control the approach, it's fine. Slow them down with the first hit, then back off, then immediately move in for the next. Okay, there's death coming our way. There we go. Ooh, took a blow there, did you? I am going to change back to the shield. Yeah, that extra little bit of, of uh, armor really does actually pay for itself, doesn't it? Yeah. Okay. Got another uh, grub heading in. There we go. Back down to digging. Can you come in? Uh, we should probably not ignore the top half. Yeah. Oof. I should take that out before it could spawn. I have a couple to that. behind us. I'm going to take them out. Right. Oh, I've got a lantern. Oh, are you okay? Yeah, I should be fine as long as I can control the approach. Oh, yeah, I'll drop some more lanterns. Uh, some more torches. Okay. Oh, go back. Okay, you're good. You're good. But you use my shield. You just retreat. Oh, did you? Yeah. Well done. Good reflexes. There we go. Now, how f close are we? Uh, we've kind He's of got around. He's up to the north now. Yeah. Yeah, but it doesn't look like there is an easy path up there. Like no. There isn't a break in the wall that we've missed, is there? There might be. I don't but think so. I doesn't seem see. it. Okay. 
badness and sadness over here. Oh. Yep, lots of badness and sadness. Don't rush in and die. Uh, just need to control the engagement. Well done. Ooh, he hits like a truck. God, grief. Yeah. Like I said, the difference between uh, having a shield out and not having it out on those big ones is about 80 points worth of damage. Which is no small difference. Yeah. I need to do something to heal myself. I? You can always head back and uh, spend some time regenerating. Oh, this is, this is rough. I would say draw back. Yep. For now. I will continue to engage with where we're being surrounded. Oof, you did a good job there. Bad. Good grief. Ooh. Woof. Right. I do have plenty of food still. I, my uh, sword is down to about a quarter of its health, though. Yeah, so... my sword is pretty pretty rough right now. Yeah, I've well, done an ouch. awful lot of fighting. Ouch. Ouch. Draw, draw right back right now. Oh my lord, my aim is garbage. We probably have tried taking those enemies out from range. Yeah, wow, this is... It is definitely an interesting area. I'm not sure that this is the uh, easier of the bosses. Well, I don't know, we can't even danger of the air. hit Gorm. Yeah, but Gorm doesn't hit back. <laughs> yeah, but he just like... It's just is like, that? Yeah. Hey, what you will about Gorm the Devourer is pacifist. But it looks like this is where this path turns and starts heading up. Okay. Uh, and then oh, may, may an actually head up here. to the actual hive mother then. There we go. We've cleared a lot of this out though. We have actually cleared an enormous amount. It may well be worth our time. Give me a second. Oh, yes. One hit, they die. Oh, now. That is genius. With fire. That is good. Uh, incoming. Oh, this is so tense. Well, incoming. Oh, there's still someone alive. My lord. Is there another path up here? There was. Oh, and uh, a couple. Oh, oh, incoming. Watch out. It is right up there. And there's spikes all over the floor. And we're being surrounded. Somewhat safe now. The spikes on the floor, definitely something to be aware of. Uh, okay, got You wanted to keep coming. them there and to draw things over them, or? No, no, I think it would be safe for us to remove them. All right, we've got incoming enemies. Okay, the spikes have been removed. Oop. There we go. There's Oop. one coming the we've other got way one right now. Behind us. Oh, I'm hit. about to die. Oh, my sword is down. That's why I'm not doing enough damage anymore. Okay, we Trust need to go me. back, I think, then. Trusty. Uh, slingshot just took that one out. My goodness. If your sword is out, then mine's nearly out. We need to go yeah. back and repair. I'm to retreat, I think. We got a long way into here, though. We're nearly at the hive yeah. now, I reckon. The problem is, we've now got to get the, all the way back out of here. And we no longer have a means of stopping baddies. Not easy. Well, I've anyway. still got some on my sword. Oh. Well. Well. <laughs> I've still got some on my sword, she says, with no health. Yeah. Well. Uh, I guess I'll... Um, I'll... Gloria, she lab. It's glorious. I'll, I'll go and repair my sword and uh, <laughs> come back then, shall I? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I haven't picked up your grave this That's time. That's okay. My inventory Most of the stuff that I cool. need is like, you know, on me, on my hotbar and things. So, uh, 
Oh, my breastplate had taken so much damage that it was um, completely broken as well. Really? Wow. Yeah. So, <laughs> so yeah, we we did really well getting as far in as we did. I think. Yeah, but I am worried about our odds of uh, success in that area. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> I just want to see the hive mother. I want to see what she's like. No, agreed. Definitely agreed, but we are... I am starting to regret my choice not to keep my... Uh... Sorry, to uh, go with the shield over the... Over the lantern. Over the lantern. It's really hard to... Uh make progress without being able to see what I'm doing. Yeah. But you've made a fantastic path here. It's very useful. Unfortunately, evil grubs are destroying all of our lanterns, but it'll, it'll do. That's because they're evil. I'm going to try and get yeah, as much right. of their ground up as possible. I don't know how much I'll be able to do, but... It might take us a long time to do that, though. Hmm almost back but i've got 33 hive spike traps oh that's that quite cool it's kind of bonkers and i do wonder if uh that might not be useful against gorm mm. right uh i also picked up a lantern like not a not a, a little one all this right. was a big lantern, a plus four glow on that one. That was just a found nice. in a chest. All right, so do I go back and try and get my uh, my grave? I'll come with you. I just yeah. needed to repair my stuff first. Yeah, I think that's all good. We were really lucky, I think, to find the entrance way in. Yeah. No, absolutely. Uh, right, I need to drop off all of this gubbins first. Of which there is now significant amounts. Uh, we got stone. I did actually manage to pick up a, a decent bit of tin, though, while we were out there. Well, that's pretty cool, then. Yeah, I'm actually quite happy with that. It's really awesome that we've got like all tin gear now. Yeah. Uh, also, we've got the last mechanical parts do you want to use that to activate the tracker for gorm the thing is i don't know if we manage to get the hive mother whether then there'll be more things that will require the mechanical parts uh, we find them somewhat frequently yeah. i don't mind using it just for science whether it will let us track gorm whether we can see where around. he's going yeah yeah go on then yeah. go on let's see where he is He's very, he's clearly got like a big old track that he goes around, doesn't he? Mm hmm Yeah, exactly. I've nabbed the uh the larval chest and I popped it in my room. Are, are you cool. gonna do the the honors? I can if you want, but I did the last one, so do the honors of you what, sorry? Uh activating the tracker for Oh right. Oh. oh I don't mind if you do that. Oh, okay. All right, let's go ahead and do this. And go on the devourer. And activating it now. Whee! Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> yeah, it is actually tracking Gorm the devourer. Going around that his track, yeah. Is useful. That's actually going to be hugely useful to us. Because now we know when we can and can't cross his track. So we can yep. use his track as a um, as a way to get around as well, without getting stomped yeah. on by him. No, that 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 actually works really really well for us. I think that works really well. And definitely the hive mother, we are close to finding. Yeah, we were very close. I think the uh, the route you were on was going to lead directly to the hive hive mother. Yeah. Right, let me drop these precious. We just had taken too much off. damage to all our gear at that point. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It was a bit rough, but 
certainly. I think we did really well, though. Yeah, yeah, no, that's that's what I was uh, about to say. I think it could certainly have gone worse. Right, do you, do you want a slingshot? Yeah, go on. I'll, uh, I'll... There is plenty of tin in there for you to make a slingshot out Thank of. Thank you. In fact, even more tin as well. We are definitely going to be able to make... Um, we're definitely going to be able to, to make... An iron table soon. Iron table soon. Very soon, I would imagine. We just need enough iron bar, don't we, at this point? Mm-hmm. So it might be I worth going like... up to the iron biome and trying to gear up before we take on the, the mother then. Uh, we could definitely do that. We only need a little bit of iron in order to, yeah, exactly. in order to get further. So sure, we can divert our attention to that for yeah, a bit. To leveling like. up our gear a little bit, I think. Yeah. Because yeah. it was definitely difficult getting past all of her minions, which means that she's probably quite difficult to take down. Yeah, that's that's my concern. Is that <laughs> the, we're we're struggling this much just getting to the getting hive to mother. her? Yeah, absolutely. It's a little bit worrying. While that uh, the implications of that on our survivability once we get there. Yeah. So let me see if I can make a quick slingshot then. And uh... I oh, believe I need we wood. only need. Yeah, we only need um, twenty iron bars. Yeah, so we... We've already we, got all the tin we need, so... Yeah. Yeah, sure. That's what I'm thinking. We're, we're not that far away from just being able to make iron stuff, and that's going to be probably be quite a big upgrade and will probably help us quite considerably with get, getting these bosses. Um, yeah. Put that wood back. I am also going to make a tin fishing rod, if that's all right. Yep. It will add an, a significant amount of power to my ability to fish. Oh, there we go. Uh, I'm actually going to make to, a tin hoe as well, to, like, if that's all right. Um, harvest the that's fields, right, yeah. or do you prefer to do that? I don't know. You can go go ahead. I, it'll, it'll level up your gardening. I Again, this, I'm not one of these people that feels... And I know it, it's not very efficient... But I really don't care. Um, I I very very firmly believe that everyone should be allowed to, to to do the things that they're interested in. Just because someone started doing a thing and has got a higher skill level doesn't mean that you shouldn't enjoy, uh, you know, exploring that yourself. Like in MMOs and stuff, where like in a guild, the only person who's allowed to farm is the person yeah. with the highest. Yeah, I mean, I still, like, I'm making less. It makes sense, but I'm making less seeds than um, than I get at the moment. It's probably because of my gardening yeah. level. So, um, yeah. you might need to do the odd harvest just to get the seeds back. Sure. Oh damn it! I uh, left clicked instead of right clicked when I had my. Uh, when I was using my fishing rod. There we go. Oh, this is one of the uh, tougher fish. All right. Is it best? To I wasn't sorry even able to begin fishing this one before. So sadly, I, I'm still not going to be able to catch that one yet with the tin fishing rod, but. I couldn't even remotely try to catch that fish previously. The different fish have different uh, fishing patterns, and uh, that one was just struggling way too aggressively for me to be able to uh, pull it in. Same here, though. Yeah. Okay, sorry, you were going to ask? Are you best to use your empty hand to harvest, or...? Uh, I mean, I, I think it costs your ability on your your tools, but it's entirely up to you. Just remember to water the fields afterwards. Oh, okay. I didn't realize I had to. <laughs> yeah, watering can. I just collected a rusty spoon, an old corroded eating utensil. Almost every culture has invented these. I see. Let's, let's hope that Salad Fingers doesn't find out.
There we go. This is one of the easier ones. Then this is going to be a cave guppy. Punk. Yeah, orange cave guppy. Just let me know when you're done. Hey. I'm just grabbing. You know, it's useful to take the opportunity to get a little bit of fish uh, while other stuff is going on in the base, since it's actually a really good food. I wonder what fish plus larval meat would be like. Oh no, I broke one of your floor tiles. I'm sorry. Oh no. It's okay, just put it back down. Oh, now it's not green anymore. Green paintbrush is in the slime chest. Okay, I'll do that in a minute. Hey, I've got a talent point in gardening now. Yay! Yay! I've got a whole Ooh, a bunch of stuff. Nice. So, that's... Alright, I um I've replanted everything, I've put the food on to cook. I just need a like a watering can. Yep, it's in the chest with the hoe. Uh or rather with the uh, uh seeds. Oh it's quite quick, isn't it? Watering. Lovely. Yeah. Just right click in the uh little uh, irrigation tile to get uh fill it back up with water when you need it. I just need to get that green paintbrush out at that point, and then we can go looking for iron. Yeah, we've done so well. Like, I think we've done loads this uh, session, haven't we? Yeah. Yeah, I'm actually really happy with it. watering can away so we're all watered up now okay i got some kelp which is valuable apparently Ooh. and some uh and a rusty spoon makes me a little bit of cash okay. not terrible i also got a blue cave guppy and four orange cave guppies I'm just going to uh, repair my pickaxe mm -hmm. and then uh, start heading out to the iron biome, I think, at that point. Do you want to... I'll take care of repainting the uh, tile you dug up, but do you want to <laughs> check out Sorry. what the purple is like for your for your uh, bedroom? Okay, yeah, sure. That sounds really good. There we go. Done and done. Right, I will also make some more food too. Uh, Purple paintbrush. So got plenty of lava meat. I want some glow. Gonna steal those glows, I'm afraid. Uh, you've made a decent amount of glowing berry pudding. That's actually pretty nice. Right, yeah, that would be going... good for us if we um, end up going back to the hive mother and we have our shields out. Yeah. Right, I'm just dropping off the food for now that we've got in abundance uh and then we can like you know properly select and and like restock based on what we've got right gooey guppy fillet plus 24 food 2.8 health every 20 seconds seven percent dodge chance for five minutes and six percent critical hit chance for two minutes that is actually pretty nice yeah not gonna lie that's actually really nice right let's try out uh 
the orange cave guppy and see what that gives us. So. Gives orange meat steak. Plus eight mi mining damage for five minutes, plus six critical hit chance for two minutes. Health and food. Not terrible, not terrible. Slowly learning what to make things into. I'm so so gutted though that we can't use um we can't use slime as an ingredient. As a food ingredient. Yeah. Yeah, I know, because be there's awesome. so much of it. Yep. Uh, that makes uh, something we've already tried. That also makes something I've already tried, but I'm fine with. Let's see what that makes. Uh, gooey pepper wrap. Sure, I'll make some gooey pepper wrap. Then I would like some... Uh... Oh. Oh, that's right. I need the steak down here. We've got a decent amount of different foodstuffs, and I'm able to use a lot of the larval meat for it. Oh, that's really which good. seems to give critical hit chance, which is honestly a really nice yeah. one to have. Unfortunately, um, did you use all of the uh, heart berries? I think I might plant? have done, yeah. Sorry, was I... Was that... Oh, no, no, no. So it's okay. It's just that uh, I wanted to know if I should look around for them because that's how we make the... Potion, uh, health potion. potions. The health <sighs> potions, yeah. It's not an issue, though. We'll easily be able to manage. Yeah, we planted you... some more in. Yeah, have you grabbed food yet? Um, I've got quite a bit of food. I've got, like, um, 12 things of food. Okay, just okay. make sure, you know, have, have a check of what you've got to see if you've got... Um, complimentary status effects. Yeah, at the moment I've got salads and um, wraps. So they've got a few different mm -hmm. things each. Yeah, depending on what you've made them out of, you might have very different effects. But I don't think they stack. So like you'd eat one food type which gives plus 25 max yeah. health. Uh, one that gives movement, one that gives critical damage, so on and so forth. One that gives glow. And then you just eat whatever you have to eat in order to have uh, a nice amount of like health uh, restore, uh, restoration as well. I will drop those in there. Uh, spikes can come with me for now. Right. Uh, I want... There we go. Hearty meat steaks. Got one of those. I will take it. Uh, actually, glowing berry pudding is fantastic for that. So I will take seven of those. Um, we've got hearty pepper wraps take some of those so a lot of stuff that gives max health which is very nice some things that give glow uh, critical hit chance would be very useful the mushy tulip salad ooh did you say you picked up my lantern at some point? Uh, I picked up a lantern. Yeah, I think it is. Uh, I think that was my only lantern. There's there's a better one in the chest now, so just oh, grab that. That's awesome. I'll come and grab it in a minute. So yeah. I've so far managed to pick up eight pieces of iron. Mm -hmm. We need something like twenty, don't we? Yeah. And do we, we've already got some, don't we? Or did we use it all somehow? I am. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've got a decent amount. Uh, we've got eight. Okay, so if I get another 12, we've got enough to make an iron bench at that point. Yep. Right. Yeah, let's have a look where she now is. All the way to the north. Right. I'm really interested to know what will happen to Gorm if we lay acid puddles on the ground mm. as well as hive spike traps. Yeah, it will be interesting to know, isn't it? Because mm -hmm. I think ultimately it's going to come down to trapping Gorm. 
Yeah, but it's just like the traps we've used so far just haven't been effective. Yeah. Alright, I have 14 pieces of iron ore, so we are getting very uh, close to having enough. Well, we probably do, already do have enough. I'll just see if I can find some more. I mean, we're going to want more regardless. No, exactly. Um, that's what I know. I mean, we'll, we'll make the bench and then we'll want more for making tools yeah. and anvils and stuff anyway, so. Mm -hmm. Exactly, yeah. I've got loads of iron right here. I wonder what those drills are going to be. Yeah, I think at some point we're going to get electricity, aren't we? Possibly. It does seem to be leaning in that way. Like, the, uh, the world seems to be high-tech. What is this? Ooh, carrot seeds. Oh, there you go. Nice. You find them into the north. Yeah. Nice job. That's actually fantastic. Also, I gained a uh, level up in gardening as well. So now I've got a 15% chance to gain a seed when harvesting plants. So it's very interesting where the uh, damage comes from and stuff like this. Like, for example, if you go down the gardening tree, mm. this is very much a game where I think they assume you're going to be playing it on your own, but you can play it in a group. But, for yeah. example, the gardener gets perks later on that gives them critical hit damage and a chance to poison enemies. Oh, wow. Or um, having thorn damage. So if you get attacked, then it... Uh, it uh, reflects. It's really interesting. Apparently there's golden plants as well, which sounds remarkable. Can you get gold from your golden plants? I don't know, but it might be more of a, a system like, uh, you know, giant crops in Stardew, I would imagine, yeah. but I could be wrong. Another carrot plant. Plenty of fishing opportunities over here as well. Oh, loads of gold as well. There's a creature with red growing, glowing eyes. What are you lurking out there in the darkness? Hmm. That doesn't seem ominous at all. No. I have also found uh, some. Uh, it looks like we've got. The chests around here are, are, are like more of the ancient variety. So getting some interesting drops from them. Alright, I may regret this, but I'm going to poke my head up and see what this creature is. Hello? Are you going to attack me? Seems to be following me. Oh, yes. Yes, it is. Okay, fair Oh, enough. yeah, I found a carrick as well. Where, where else are you, anyway? Oh, yeah, you're just like, uh, not too far from me. No ways away. No, not too you know far. What? Why would I even need to get into melee range with you when I've got a slingshot? All right, well, I broke my pickaxe now, so I figure it's time to go home. Fair enough. With my 25 iron ore, so that's not too bad. Yeah, no, that's pretty good actually so yeah that that it was like a little miner and it followed me around and uh, attempted to it well it it had a fairly telegraphed um, build up to its attack so it's not oh, actually okay. that bad in that regard um, oh there is another one down here oh let me t let me come and see it then Give me a second looks like some sort of Shaman? Oh, yeah. Alright, well. well. Watch out. Ooh, that was nasty. Ooh. That was a lot of damage, and you ran straight into it. You're on fire. I'm um, on fire. Oh, no. Heal potions. No, it's okay. You're good. You're good. It's, it's gone out. But, yeah. uh, 
Oh, she love. I aggress it, pull back to uh, await its counterattack. She love goes in to attack it though. Not that was poor communication on my part. I did not let uh, you know that I was about to. You were saying it's, it telegraphs, but I didn't know what the telegraph was. So it was oh, like... that's the first time I've seen that one. But yeah, it, it just basically wound up a bit. Um, and then unleashed magic. So interesting. There we are. So we have some... fireball hurling dudes in this particular yeah, area. Yeah, shamans. Oh, really noted. More of those large nodes as well. I'll continue to do a little bit of mining up here, though. Yeah, absolutely. And I'll head down to you in a moment. We might find that we end up with a good like forty or so iron to play with. That would be good. amazing. We need 20 for the uh, the iron table workbench. Yeah. And then probably a lot. I'm going to guess a lot per uh, per tool because unlike bronze, it's not an alloy. Yeah. So it's going to use up all just iron to make iron tools. It's a bit of a pain, but oh well. Oh, another challenge. Hello. Nope. Nope. Crystal Skull Shard? An ancient crystal skull shard that is only the fraction of something bigger. Oh, I need ten of them. Hmm. You get those off the shamans. Okay. Let me know how much iron you have when you get back. Yeah, I had 25 total. Very nice, okay. Coveling pants, plus 20 max health and 13% dodge chance. Yeah, so definitely some... Oh, is that what you can build? Mm-hmm. Nice. No, 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 it's, no, I picked them up, sorry. Oh, right, okay. Picked them up. Decent vein over here. Lots of nice food, that's good. go and yeah the fact that we've now got Karox yeah. is going to be huge for us because that's what we need for some of the other potions I was wondering yeah, I like where we, so we would well find that it's a really satisfying amount of progress you make in this isn't it yeah no exactly we've only been playing it what for about four and a half hours now yeah have we it wow <laughs> Yeah, I know, right? Time flies. Absolutely. Wow. Okay, so I need to... Actually, I'm going to garden out the gardens ready again. So okay. I'm going to do that. Then I will fix my pickaxe. Mm -hmm. And then I'll maybe make us uh, the bench. All right. Yeah, that sounds amazing. I promise I won't use all the, the heart thingy again. Okay. <laughs> it's okay. I'll put that aside so you can make the potions. Leave some room in the garden, though, for carrot seeds. Okay, I will do. Of which I have eight. Nice. Because this will give us stone skin potions. Which I can only assume are going to be incredibly make us more defensible. important. Yeah. Yeah, it's like 30... I, I, I believe that... Uh, yeah, I think it was like something like 30 armor for five minutes. My entire defense right now with the shield is 36. So we would almost yeah. double our survivability. It's nice. It is nice in this game how much the um, consumables add to everything. Yeah. It's one of the things that I often feel with, with games like this is sometimes they, they don't give you enough of a reason to do any of the cool stuff that they have, you, uh, have yeah. available for you to do. I mean, I appreciate not wanting to force people to have to do gardening if they just want to be out there adventuring, and I do get that. But unless you make it incredibly valuable, there's almost no point. I, I really, really do like it. It, it was something that I loved about uh, Dragon Quest Builders. Yeah. Is it was a point to build all of the 
the the rooms that otherwise would have just been for cosmetics. Yeah, I liked uh, Dragon Quest Builders. It was uh, yeah, like you say, nice to have an an eco in in the same way. Like you build like yeah furniture and things in there, and it's got a use. Yeah, exactly. I'm actually reasonably close to uh, Gorm's Trail right now. I'm going to just let my uh, pickaxe run down completely. And then I'll head back. I wonder if there'll be some sort of uh, transport system like a, a portal or something like that. Hmm. That would actually be quite cool. Oh, hello. Like some fast track. There you go. Oh, you get mechanical uh, components from these minor creatures. Oh, well, that's good. That's quite useful. Okay. I've got another huge iron vein up here. Yeah. Up to twenty two iron ore right now. Oh. I'm definitely finding that being able to see deeper into the walls with my mining perk is helpful. I can't plant the carrot I've got a carrot seed here. Right. It says it's a tough seed that only grows in stone. Oh. So, Will yeah. I, am I about to be very thankful that I made a tin shovel? Stony ground. Okay. Digging up some stony ground to bring back yes, so we can you're plant our need to make a little, a, a little carrot garden with stony ground, aren't you? Mm -hmm. Yep. That's actually pretty cool. I was so disappointed when they took that those kinds of requirements out of Terraria. I, I still haven't forgiven them for that. I loved the idea that you had to make uh, a a garden that had a little layer of, of uh, lava to be able to grow fire blossoms. I adored the fact that you could only grow, um, uh, what was it, uh, water weed, or water lily, or whatever it was called, in water. Like, you couldn't just get a, a piece of soil from yeah. that biome from the druid. You actively needed to supply the, the plant. You, like, you had to build an interest in greenhouse to be able to have those. Shall I just plant really out terrible. the whole of the thing, then, if I can't plant the carrot seed? Just plant it out with bone uh, peppers no, or something. Leave, just leave still leave a bit. a section of it okay. as stone. I've left a little bit at the bottom left of, of just plain soil. Okay. I mean, I could always expand it out, I guess, to make a, a carrot area. Uh, and that might actually make sense. Well, I'll leave it blank and you can decide what you want to do with it when you get back. Yep. Thank you. I'm not sure that that is... The, the glowing here is the result of... Je of minerals or... Ah, oh, damn it. No, it's water. <laughs> I was well onto it. Can I get through there at all? No, no, of course I can't. Okay, well, that's fine. Coming back then. Now let's have a look at the map. Pick out the path. Kind of a wending way, but it'll do. All right. Okay. Oh, darn it. I thought that I'd left you a piece that was eight big, but it's only six big. It's okay. I, th I You know what? I, I think I'm going to uh, make a Karak area. Yeah, because it's such a, a different thing. Stone, you, so. might, you might want yeah. to. Yeah. I might want to decorate it differently, you know? Yeah. Put some food on. Uh, 
Right, I am just about home. Huzzah. Okay. Uh, nice work back here. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to dig through this wall and make a little carrot garden. So the next thing I need to do is to repair my pick. Because it's got mightily messed up. Or pick. Or pick. Then I want to look at how we're going to make this iron workbench. So wood, tin bar, iron bar. I have the iron bar. I need tin bar and wood. On that note, I need to come back and smelt a bunch of the ores that I've got. Uh, right, 24 iron in there. I'm going to split the stack and put the twelve other 12 in there. Drop off the gold ore. Drop off a lot of things, actually. Got an awful lot of things. I wonder if there's anything I can make with stone. Doesn't look like it, sadly. Oh, well. Uh, gonna grab clay. Going to make some paintable walls. I may have just broken the... <laughs> hmm? I broke the wall going into the... Into the uh, tree farm. G Lab is so destructive. I do. That tin pickaxe is like beastie. <laughs> it is, yeah. Where I put it back together. So. Oh my lord. Okay. <laughs> right. Iron workbench. Here we come. Yep. Where are we going to put it? Behind the tin one? Yeah, yeah, sure. Look, we okay. can make. A smelter kiln, a kiln that can melt valuable ores. I can mm -hmm. actually make that right now if you want. Uh, we can make a cartography table to share your map discoveries with other explorers. Ooh. An electro useful. Oh yeah, electrically stuff, electronics table. Workbench to create electronical and logist uh, sorry, logical systems. Oh, you can do that. Okay. Logic. No, 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 no. <laughs> uh, an iron anvil with ten iron bar. A jewelry okay. workbench uh, and a scarlet workbench. Greater workbench to be prepared for the outer cave systems. Oh. Outer cave systems. Oh, so this I guess. It's I, so deep. I guess that that's the next workbench up from the iron. Excuse me. Got it. Wiggle my way around. <sighs> And then we can make um, stone brick walls, stone floor, stone bridge, oh, stone there we door, go. all of that stuff. I wish the iron. It on there. I and then I all the iron tools. It. Okay. Oh, there we go. Stone brick, stone floor. Yep. Stone fence, stone fence gates, stone door, stone bridge. That is. Did perfect. you bring back any iron as well? Because we've still got enough for me to make yeah, an iron yeah, pickaxe with. Loads in there. Cool. Yep. Well, in this case, this I'm stuff. switching this room out completely. Uh, I Instead of going with the painted Oh, floors, no. We floors. need a gold bar. So we're going to have to make the smelter kill, I think. Okay, well, make it so. I'll make it so. 27 gold. And uh, where shall I pop that, then? Uh, the smelter kiln, you can just put it at the, uh, just the other to end, the end of all the... That one furnace, yeah. Yeah, there we are. Smelter kiln. Smelting gold. There we are. Lovely. Gold and scarlet. We need to find scarlet ore soon. We're probably going to be finding that in the next area, I imagine. Yeah. Wow. This is getting, things are getting exciting, aren't they? <laughs> right, well, I am going to replace... Mm -hmm the paintable walls that I just placed down with stone ones for the Carrick area. Nice and increasingly, I'm starting to think that we might want to redesign some of our previous rooms now that we've got better materials for it. Yeah. 
Oh, this is awesome. It's always the way, really. You, you get to a new tier and suddenly everything seems drab and boring. And you're like, right, yes. I want to replace everything. I've okay, got loads of iron. A little bit of tin. We're very low on tin again, actually. Okay. And uh, I'm starting to smelt up gold. Perfect. I needed that gold bar. I put it away. <laughs> I'm like, I needed that. Darn it. I need some wood as well. I'll make myself an iron pick. Oh, yeah. These tiles look nice. Are you playing around with the stone tiles now? Oh, yeah, they are much better. Got a much nicer texture to them. Oh, actually, though, we need to get rid of that. Um... Okay. I think I have everything I need. Oh. Very well. Really? I'm one piece of wood short. Oh. <laughs> Thought I had four pieces, but no. Also, there's now uh, stone bridges you can place down. Uh, I'm not sure that they look as nice as the wood bridges are, I'm going to be honest. Yeah. Yeah, I think the wood bridges actually do have a bit more charm to them. In their own way. Okay, so. Apparently put all my iron bars away as well. I keep putting things away that I actually need <laughs> to make this pickaxe. Iron pickaxe, here we come. A was required for the iron pickaxe? One gold bar, four wood and four iron bars. Okay, not too bad then. We actually have all the stuff we need to make you one as well. So. Perfect. Do you want me to go ahead and make you one? Yes, if you wouldn't mind. Yeah. Just need to get some more wood. Actually, what I might do here is have this wall come all the way down. Kind of to make it into a proper little room then. Uh, you know what? Given that, I could make the... To make the, the stone area seem a little bit more distinct. Yeah. As much as it will make it a little bit more... Uh, how should I put it? Bland in terms of it, its geometry. I feel that the stone room being more uh, just symmetric, just a, a square, does kind of make sense. It's a much more plain and rocky room. Okay. I have made an iron anvil, but I don't know where to put it because, like, we're really running out uh, of space. Can we move things, like, once we've... Yeah, by all means. You, you just put it down on the other side of the chest. That's what I mean. Like, I'd put it down things. and then I can move things later. Yeah, I, I agree. We do actually want to look at setting this up properly at some point in the very near future. Actually expanding it out a bit. Now, I wonder... Am I going to be able to hold the, the stone with a, with a humble copper hole? Yes, I can. Very well. Very, very good copper hoe. Hoeing the rock. Okay, so. Uh, apparently I'm quite hungry. Let me cobble down some food. So, I got you a nice pickaxe. Thank you. Thank you ever so much. 167 mining strength. That is absolutely bonkers. A strong tool. Excellent. Yeah, for it's down almost double walls. what a um, tin one does. That's yeah. really, really good. And the durability is probably quite nice on it. 800 versus 550. Yeah. So that's going to last. It'll do twice as much damage and it'll last like almost twice as long. Mm -hmm. And it probably won't take as much durability damage because it's doing so much more damage. You don't have to do as many hits. Yeah. So yeah, it's probably going to last I about four times as long. I wonder what the uh, sword would be like. 
Well, I already made the sword. 102 to 124 melee damage. Two and a half a attacks per second. Yeah. Though it isn't necessarily enough to warrant swapping out from having a sword that slows things down. I think it might be good just to have both and decide what you want to do for the enemies you, you have coming across, you know? Yeah. I think you might be right there. But, okay. Carracks have been planted. Okay. I'm going to drop off some gubbins. We used a lot of that iron. <laughs> but we've got a lot of stuff built. Yeah, I mean, we're going to go through iron like it's going out of fashion at this point. That It's basically a new tech level yeah. for us. So that will be expected. I wouldn't worry too much about it. But honestly, all we really need now is to make... I mean, we don't tend to make um, shovels and hose out of uh, the, our newest materials anyway. We've made the smelter kiln, we've made the uh, the anvil. So it's just got the jewelry workbench. Um, oh wow, the iron gear actually has a set bonus. Oh, what for having all of it? Mm hmm. If you're equipped all in iron gear, then that, that's going to be quite useful, yeah. Oh yeah, plus 90% armor at low health. Yeah, that's really nice. That might get you out of some real scrapes, actually. Mm. So I think we should probably try and go for the the, the iron sets uh, of armor before we go for the hive mother. I would say. Yeah, I th I think that may be well be wise. Uh, we can also still try out our um, tactics against Gorm as well. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Because there are more things that we can play around with there. Definitely some more things. Uh, watering can. You well, I, I do think that uh, I'm getting to the the limit of my back's uh, durability now. No, that's now. fine. I was I was basically just waiting on, on you to let me know when that <laughs> happened. Five hours that's is good, though. Fine. I think that's a much <laughs> much better than the two hours I've been doing so far. So yeah, no, absolutely. No, I'm 100% okay with us wrapping things up here. You've done you're, a wonderful job, and I'd it. love to do more at some point. Mm -hmm. I am absolutely going to indulge myself though and get an iron fishing rod all right you do that i it's I, do, it has do we to need to mine any more iron to do that or have we got enough no we had enough cool that does mean that you can inherit my tin fishing rod yeah I, I know you haven't really done much in the way of fishing no i haven't maybe that'll have to happen next time <laughs> you, oh wow the purple floor in your room actually kind of has a very regal look to it i'm gonna be honest yeah it's nice I isn't like it that. That yeah. nice. that actually does have a really awesome look I'm going to put a chest in your room, though, and then pop this uh, tin fishing rod in it. Oh, wonderful. Thank you. What? Present for she uh, lab. Yeah. There we go. Tin fishing rod. All for you. Right. Okay. Well, I had so much fun. We've got both yeah. of the bosses on the screen now. And, uh, yeah. Uh, We're in iron stuff. We haven't seen the hive mother yet. No. And we don't know what to expect, but the hive mother's layer is painfully dangerous but i suspect that using acid yeah from the creatures that spawn there and the spikes that may be the way to take out gorm yeah i strongly suspect and if it's applying... not then we need to take out the the hive mother and see if the things that unlock from the statue yeah. will help us with gorm yeah yeah definitely I'm really, really happy with that. We match, actually managed to expand the base a lot. We've got our first NPC. We've got two bedrooms all set up and even decorated a bit. The garden is looking so much better than it was to begin with. Yeah, you did a nice job there. I'm actually there. really happy with that. Uh, and we've got a, a reasonably large collection of food items as well. We're not, uh, we're not struggling yeah, for food right now. Yeah, and your whole new carrot right area and everything. Nice. It's amazing. Yeah. And on top of that, of course, we can now make potions as well. Uh, on that note, let me quickly put together a few just to see how much they take. Stone skin potion, yeah, three carrots, three slimes. Easy. I would say for now, that's what we're going to be using the carrots for. Yeah. Because it's, it's going to take us a while to build up a lot of those, but each one of these effectively doubles our armor. Yeah, and probably, possibly once we get an excess of them, it might end. It might be go. that carrots give food that increases armor as well so and it might stack That's so actually it's worth point, yeah. a try uh, in fact i've got i've got two carrots left that i couldn't use so i'm gonna pop one in there and one over here 
along with do we have any lava meat we don't that's fine i will pop in a heart berry instead oh you had a cat damn it i should have realized that uh that should be fine though all right so crunchy tulip salad yes plus 23 armor for five minutes not quite as strong yeah. as the stone skin potion and bearing in mind the stone skin potion only gives you armor for a minute so so definitely worth eating, taking some food yeah definitely i mean you won't have as much but what you could do is eat carrot based food and then quaff a uh, the stone skin potion as well yeah and hope you get a stack a, yeah to gain twice as much crunchy berry pudding yeah we we can definitely make some amazing food now i'm actually really really happy with that oh really i'm excited to come back uh, to it now and, and do another sesh yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to it as well. Okay, well, that's going to be it then. Maybe uh, the next time you see us, we will be taking on the two bosses. I'm hopeful that my plan for Slime and Spikes will work against Gorm. If not, then it may just come down to getting stupidly high damage output that we can sustain against Gorm for the entire time it's there. We might yeah. even need to... Uh, dig out the walls along Gorm's track so we can keep pace with Gorm attacking it all the while but we'll we'll see all right thank you very much for joining me Sheila it was a pleasure thank you it was lovely really fun take care <laughs> and keep being awesome